The JF-17s are the same aircraft used by the Pakistani Air Force in the air battle against India on 27 February 2019. The result of the air battle was a landslide victory for Pakistan, when its air force fired two Indian aircraft, a Suhoi 30 Maki and Bison MiG-21. Pakistan also captured an Indian pilot Abhinandan during this air battle. India was completely deprived of situational awareness by electronic jamming systems used by Pakistani aircraft during the encounter. The Indian High Command was so confused, he allowed the Indian Air Defense to shoot down its Mi-17 helicopter, thinking it was a Pakistani F-16. India's Prime Minister sacked the commander of the Eastern Air Command, Air Marshal Chandra Hari Kumar, on February 28, just 24 hours after the air battle in Kashmir. Not only that, India has forced the chief of the Indian Air Force, Air Marshal Beast Noah to stand down. In short, the entire encounter over Kashmir lasted only seven minutes, but the Indian Air Force was completely humiliated and disgraced. Because of this, India has paid millions of dollars to France to speed up the Rafale delivery process. The acquisition of Rafales gave the Indian Air Force a qualitative advantage over its Pakistani counterpart. Because the Rafale is a 4.5 generation fighter even though Pakistan has 4.5 generation fighter in its inventory. The JF-17 Block II and the F-16 owned by Pakistan, both are fourth generation fighters and cannot compete with the Rafales. Defense experts say, Pakistan has to ship two F-16s through India for every Rafale deployment. For this reason, the first flight of the Block III version of the JF-17 was made. So we decided to do an in-depth analysis of the capabilities of the JF-17 Block III and the Dassault Rafale. The JF-17 Block III is designed as a low-cost generation 4.5 single-engine fighter aircraft that replaced the aging fleets of Mirage 5 and F-16 fighting Falcons of the Pakistan Air Force. For the JF-17 Block III designers focus primarily on long-range radars, high-speed missiles, agility, and long-range air-to-air missiles. The Dassault Rafale is designed for high-altitude intercept and low-altitude deep attack operations. Its airframe is designed to deflect most radar waves, giving it a slight stealth advantage. It's also a 4.5 generation, but a medium-weight twin-engine multirole fighter. Currently serves in the Egyptian, Qatar, Indian, and French Air Forces. Now let's compare their abilities, strengths, and weaknesses to find out which aircraft will outperform each other in a hypothetical aerial fight. Airframe. The JF-17 Block III fuselage is constructed primarily of aluminum alloy, titanium alloy, and high-strength steel, as well as semi-composite materials to reduce radar cross-section. It has an integrated cockpit display and a helmet-mounted display and uses a three-axis electric flight system that allows the pilot to focus more on following competitors. It has nine hardpoints and can carry a wide range of weapons. The Dassault Rafale has a delta wing fuselage having small canards near the cockpit for better maneuverability. Rafale also has an integrated cockpit display, advanced avionics, helmet mounted visor, and a three axis fly by wire system. It has 14 hardpoints and an empty weight of 10 tons. Engine and payload The JF 17 Block III uses the WS 13 engine, which has a service life of 2,200 hours and delivers 101 kilowatts of afterburning thrust. The JF-17 Block III can fly at a speed of Mach 2 and has a mass-to-thrust ratio of 0.95. It can carry a payload of 3,700 kg up to 3,500 km. The Dassault Rafale is equipped with two M88 engines, each providing 75 kN of afterburning thrust. Rafale can fly at a maximum speed of Mach 1.2 and carry a payload of up to 9,900 kg. Its operational range is 3,700 km and its weight-to-thrust ratio is 0.98. So it is clear that Rafale has a distinct advantage over the JF-17 Block III in terms of payload capacity, range, and thrust-to-weight ratio. While the JF-17 Block III is faster and more maneuverable than the Rafale. Radar. The JF-17 Block III uses a KLJ-7A Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar developed by the Nanjing Research Institute of Electronics Technology. It is a state-of-the-art radar, that operates more than 1,000 transmit and receive modules per second, which makes it very resistant to interference. It operates 11 different working modes, such as BVR mode, WVR mode, and ground surveillance mode. Its detection range is up to 170 kilometers and it can track 15 targets at a time and attack four of them simultaneously. The Dassault Rafale is equipped with an RBE-2 radar system developed by Thales. It is also an electronically scanned array radar that has a detection range of up to 100 kilometers. 
It can detect 40 targets at a time and track 14 while attacking 4 targets at a time. Although both jets use AESA radars, Rafal's radar range is comparatively smaller than that of the JF-17 Block III radar. Armor. The JF-17 Block III is a multi-role aircraft that will carry a wide range of weapons, including beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, anti-ship missiles, cruise missiles, precision-guided bombs, general-purpose bombs, and nuclear bombs. In air-to-air -air armament, the JF-17 Block III will carry the air-to-air -air missiles PL-5, PL-10, PL-12, and PL-15. The PL-5 is a short-range air-to-air missile guided by an infrared guidance system. Its operating range is between 500 meters to 16 kilometers. Its design is loosely based on the famous AIM-9 Sidewinder missile. The JF-17 Block III will be equipped with a PL-12 air-to-air guided missile for mid-range BVR operations. It uses active radar guidance to track its target, but it is also equipped with a passive search mode to avoid aircraft jamming. The effective range of the Place 12 is between 70 and 100 kilometers with extreme accuracy. For air-to-air long-range operations, the JF-17 Block III will operate the PL-15 missile, which has a range of 200 to 300 kilometers. It uses active radar guidance to track its targets and can fly as fast as Mach 4.5. In terms of air-to-surface weaponry, the JF-17 Block III will deploy a wide range of weapons, such as the ROD cruise missile, LS-6, laser-guided bombs, precision-guided bombs, as well as general-purpose bombs. In air-to-surface weaponry, Rafal operates scalp cruise missiles designed to hit high-value military installations deep into enemy territory. Its range is 200 kilometers with lethal accuracy. Dassault Rafal also operates hammer air-to-surface missiles, as well as laser-guided and precision-guided bombs, as well as various other types of munitions. For air-to-air -air weapons, Dassault Rafal operates MICA's short-range air-to-air missiles and Meteor's modern mid-range air-to-air missiles. The MICA is the all-weather, short-range, fire-and-forgot air-to-air missile. Its range is between 800 meters and 80 kilometers. It uses an active radar homing guide and an infrared homing terminal guide to track its target. It can also change its trajectory in the air through an inertial guidance system. For long-range flights, Dassault Rafal operates the Meteor's famous air-to-air -air missile. Meteor missile has a range of up to 100 kilometers. It uses active radar guidance to track its target and can reverse course in the air using an inertial guidance system. Both MICA and Meteor are capable of firing missiles air into the air with lethal accuracy. However, due to the long range of the PL-15 missile, the JF-17 Block III has a clear advantage over the Rafal in air-to-air -air combat. But in terms of deep air-to-ground attack capability, the Rafal has a clear advantage over the JF-17 Block III, because it has superior weaponry in terms of range and accuracy. Consequences. Now the question is which one is the best fighter overall? For long-range intervention operations the JF-17 Block III is much better than the Dassault Rafal as its radar and missile range is much greater than the Rafal. On the other hand, the Dassault Rafale is much better than the JF-17 Block III for low-altitude penetration and deep attack capabilities, so if a country needs a cheap and long-range interceptor, it will go for the JF-17 Block III, and if you need a plane with deep impact capability then Dassault Rafal is a perfect choice. That's all on the topic today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day.